Hello, and welcome to our channel. Now, in this video, we're going to tell you about High Noon Filmcast, then and now in 2023. And today, let's see what all of High Noon stars look like now versus when they were on the show. Number 1. Thomas Mitchell as Mayor Jonas Henderson On one hand, Mayor Jonas Henderson is a pragmatic politician who prioritizes the well-being of his town. He wants to avoid any conflict with Miller and his gang because he knows that it would put the lives of his townspeople in danger. On the other hand, Henderson is also a cowardly character who prioritizes his own safety above all else. He is afraid of Miller and his gang and doesn't want to get involved in the conflict. Mayor Jonas Henderson highlights the weakness and corruption that can exist within the political system. Mayor Jonas Henderson played by Thomas Mitchell when he was 60 years old. Sadly, on December 17, 1962, Mitchell died at age 70 from peritoneal mesothelioma in Beverly Hills, California. Number 2. Grace Kelly as Amy Fowler Kane Mayor Amy Fowler Kane is a formidable woman who possesses strength, independence, and intelligence. Her ability to speak her mind is admirable, and she is regarded as the moral beacon of the town, earning respect from all who know her. Moreover, Mayor Kane is not just a woman in a man's world, she is a force to be reckoned with, and her unwavering strength and determination make her one of the most memorable characters in the film. Amy Fowler Kane, played by Grace Kelly, when she was 23 years old. Sadly, Grace died at the age of 52 at Monaco Hospital on September 14, 1982, from injuries sustained in a car crash the previous day. Number 3. Lloyd Bridges as Deputy Marshal Harvey Pell Deputy Marshal Harvey Pell is the kind of lawman that every town needs. Loyal, competent, and always ready to stand by his friend and mentor, Marshal Will Kane. With his quiet demeanor and cool head, Pell is a reliable and respected member of the law enforcement team. He never backs down from a challenge and always keeps his composure, even in the face of danger. Deputy Marshal Harvey Pell, played by Lloyd Bridges, when he was 39 years old. Sadly, on March 10, 1998, Lloyd Bridges died of natural causes in Los Angeles, California. He was 85 years old. Number 4. Katie Gerardo as Helen Ramirez Amid the dusty streets of Hadleyville, one woman stands tall as a beacon of strength and resilience, Helen Ramirez. As the owner of the local hotel and bar, she has worked hard to establish her successful business and became a prominent figure in the town. Her kind heart and compassionate nature make her a trusted confidant and source of support for those in need. Helen Ramirez, played by Katie Gerardo, when she was 28 years old. Sadly, she died of kidney failure and pulmonary disease on the 5th of July, 2002, at the age of 78, at her home in Cuernavaca, Mexico. Number 5. Otto Kruger as Judge Percy Metric Step into the courtroom and meet Judge Percy Metric the epitome of old-fashioned justice in the Wild West. With a strict adherence to the law and an unwavering commitment to upholding it, he's a stickler for rules and protocol. His approach to the law is not driven by emotions or personal relationships, but rather a deep-seated respect for the principles upon which it is founded. Judge Percy Metric, played by Otto Kruger, when he was 67 years old, Kruger died from natural causes at the Motion Picture and Television Country House in Woodland Hills, California, on his 89th birthday. Number 6. Lon Chaney Jr. as Martin Howe Martin Howe, the wealthy and influential man of Hadleyville, exudes an air of entitlement and arrogance, accustomed to having his way and expecting others to bow to his will. His power and resources enable him to bend the law to his benefit, and trample over the rights of others. As the primary antagonist of the movie, he is relentless in his efforts to thwart Marshal Will Kane's mission to bring a dangerous criminal to justice. 
Martin Howe, played by Lon Chaney Jr. when he was 46 years old. Unfortunately, Chaney suffered from a series of illnesses in the year prior to his death. Chaney died of heart disease on July 12, 1973, in San Clemente, California, at the age of 67. Number 7. Harry Morgan as Sam Fuller In the dusty town of Hadleyville, Sam Fuller cuts a tragic figure as the drunken ex-deputy. Despite his fall from grace, he still holds a strong sense of duty and loyalty to his former colleague, Marshal Will Kane. The two men share a complicated past, and Fuller struggles with alcoholism and PTSD add layers to his character. As the tension mounts and danger looms, Fuller's willingness to come to Kane's aid highlights the themes of duty and loyalty that run throughout the film. Sam Fuller, played by Harry Morgan when he was 37 years old. On December 7, 2011, Morgan died peacefully in his sleep on December 7, 2011. He was 96 years old. Number 8. Ian McDonald as Frank Miller Throughout the film, Frank Miller is not your average villain. He is cunning, calculating, and utterly ruthless. His followers, loyal to a fault, do his bidding without question, making him a force to be reckoned with. Miller revels in chaos and bloodshed, and his ultimate goal is to take down Cain and assert his dominance over the town. Despite his heinous deeds, Miller is a complex character with his own motivations and desires. Frank Miller, played by Ian McDonald when he was 38 years old. On April 11, 1978, McDonald died of a heart attack at his home in Bozeman, Montana. He was 63 years old. Number 9. Gary Cooper as Marshal Will Kane. When faced with the option of fleeing from his troubles, Marshal Will Kane knows that taking the easy way out is not in his nature. He comes up as a steely determination. He sets out to face his adversaries head on, refusing to run from any challenge thrown his way. His honor demands that he stands up for what he believes in, even if it means putting himself in harm's way. Marshal Will Kane played by Gary Cooper when he was 51 years old. Sadly, by the late 1950s, Cooper's health was in decline. In 1961, Cooper died at the age of 60 because his prostate cancer had spread to his lungs and bones. Number 10. Eve McVeigh as Mildred Fuller Although Mildred's demeanor may be quiet and gentle, she is a strong and compassionate character always ready to extend a helping hand to those in need. Her unwavering loyalty and personal struggles make her a valuable ally to Kane and add complexity to High Noon's gripping narrative. Mildred Fuller, played by Eve McVeigh, when she was 33 years old. Eve McVeigh died on December 10, 1997, from natural causes in Los Angeles. She was 78 years old. Number 11. Morgan Farley as Dr. Mahan. In the dusty town of Hadleyville, where morality and spirituality are of valued above all, stands Dr. Mahan, a man from the cloth, yet with a soul as complex as the landscape around him. Otto Kruger brings to life this layered character in the classic Western film High Noon, a symbol of righteousness and virtue who battles with his own inner demons and struggles. Dr. Mahan, minister played by Morgan Farley when he was 54 years old. Farley died from natural causes on October 11, 1988, eight days after his 90th birthday. We miss High Noon Filmcast so much. Thanks for watching, guys. Please like and share the video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you. See you on the next video.